Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod by Nucam9 in Microsoft Flight Simulator and Bright Memory Infinite. This mod works only on RTX based GPUs, I'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. For both of the games I'll be using the standard version of the mod, the latest version is 0.8. First I'll show you the setup procedure for Bright Memory Infinite, we need to download the mod file. Just click on the Nexus Mods link here. Now just click on manual download here under DLSSG to FSR3 version 0.8. Now just click on slow download here. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. There is the file that we just downloaded, extract its contents. You can refer to the readme file for install instructions. Need to execute this registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. You only need to run it once. Don't need to run it again and again whenever you try a different game. In order to revert the changes, just run restore nvidia signature checks or registry file. Then your mod will stop working. Just copy these two DLL files. Need to paste them in the directory where the game is installed. I'll be running the Steam version of Bright Memory Infinite. Just select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Go to manage then click on browse local files. This is the game's install directory. Just open bright memory infinite folder. Then open binaries folder. Then open win64 folder. Paste the DLL files here. Now we need to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. Right click anyway on your desktop and select display settings. Now click on graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings. Scroll down until you find vertical sync. Set it to on. You can apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on program settings. Click on add. Then find the game's exe file. There is Sprite Memory Infinite. Scroll down. There is Vertical Sync. Set it to on. Click on Apply. Close. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Launch options for Bright Memory. Select User Ray Tracing DirectX 12 version. Video settings Full HD resolution. Using High to Highest settings. Ray Tracing set to Highest. DLSS enabled. There is the option to enable or disable frame generation for style and the game without it. DLSS preset set to quality. That's it. Start the game. Yeah, now I can look around. Here FPS is around 100. Drop down to 90. Graphics look nice. Combat time. 84 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. Okay, so the FPS increased to 144 with frame generation enabled. But the game is running so smoothly. Not observing any graphical bugs. Game's interface is not flickering as well. Input delay is not an issue. Let's play the game. FPS stayed around 144 even during combat. GP load is around 97%. Explosion. This place is falling apart. We felt the shot there. So frame generation works very nicely in this game without any bugs. Now I'll be trying out the next one. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Again I'll be using the standard version of this mod. Copy the two DLL files. We'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. Click on the three dots. 
click on manage click on files click on browse it took me three goddamn days to download all of the files for this game open microsoft flight simulator folder open content folder paste the dll files here override prompt in my case if you're doing this process for the first time you won't be seeing this prompt that's it we're ready to run the game in game settings full hd resolution dlss set to quality preset there's the option to enable or disable frame generation first i'll run the game without it vsync disable reflex enable directx version set to 12 using the ultra preset start the flight yeah there's an aircraft here fps is around 60 i'll switch to the cockpit view FPS increase up to 69 60 to 69 now I'll enable frame generation setting up light ok so with frame generation enable FPS increase up to 130 the game is running very smoothly but I am observing a bug games interface is flickering we have already seen this issue in games like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. Now it's easily noticeable flickering of the game's interface. One good thing here is that FPS always stays above 100 on RTX 2070 Super GPU. I hope the flickering of the interface gets fixed with the future updates of the mod. I'll end the video here, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.